There, this is Wake Angel 2001 bringing you another commission for Davin. It is Ray the Squirrel, except this one's a kind of a unique uh, character mismatch. Um, it is going to be a lot like the last Ray the Squirrel I made, based off of his modern comic appearance, but also with a little bit of the classic Ray the Squirrel mixed in. You know, from the old um, Sonic Live Arcade video game, which I've never played and has never been ported onto a console. So yeah, I'm going to mix those two together. The base figure is Tails, because um, the he can pass as a classicer character more. Classicer? More classic? How do you... How, how... <clears throat> he looks a little bit more like Classic Ray in the body. Although the head is going to be modern Sonic, because it's still going to be a modern aesthetic figure. You know, hence the, the blending. Uh, so I forgot to take work in progress shots, but basically cut the spines off, sand everything down, um, and make it round. Uh, this this time the ears are sculpted. They are little and rounder, like in the classic form. And he has um, his hair on the top of his head comes to these like two little points. It's a uh, I don't know what to what you call that. It's uh, just I guess it's supposed to look like uncombed bedhead, you know, because little kids have hair like that. I guess. Okay, uh, let's move on to the rest of it. Ugh, my computer is giving me a hard time recording the audio again. All the Microphone peaks and the uh, cutting off before I want it to. I don't know why it does that. Um, the body is uh, modified to have a round belly patch. This involved using an X-Acto knife to carve away all the fluff material that goes up near Tails' shoulders. And then it's painted um, a slightly darker tan for the skin tone as per Davin's request. And, um, well... It's a yellow figure, and we all know how terrible yellow is to work with. Because, uh, it didn't even want to photograph right. Uh, it, 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 this stuff just keeps on looking blurry. Uh, Davin wanted Ray's shoes to be a bit rounder, so I took Tails' feet and sculpted over them to be more similar to Charmy's boots in shape. And the tail is, uh, again, Tails' tail. This way it can plug right into the tail's body. But, uh, you know... Uh, sanded down and sculpted over to be smooth. Um, the arms are simple, just sculpt on little sleeves, because, you know, he's going to be wearing the jacket like the modern interpretation. And then we put him back together to see what he looks like. So here's the completed Ray the Squirrel. Ray the Flying Squirrel. Um, I don't like painting yellow figures, because every little tiny flaw, which I cannot paint over, like, like if there's a tiny little bit around the eye, or, or like, any little darker color flaw will just show up like a beacon in a sea of yellow. I don't like yellow characters. Um, but I still think he looks pretty cool with his little jacket. He has all the articulation. And unlike the last ray, this one has a tail that can actually turn around on its um, point of articulation. Which I forgot to rotate for the picture. Oops. <laughs> okay. Um... So both these guys that I've been making commissions for, they both want Rouge the Bat next, so next I'm going to make two Rouges at the same time. Bet you guys like to see that. Alright, I'm signing off.